Let's switch to Holger's screen again. Holger just received Tibor's instant message, asking him to reserve the elements he needs to work on. He is selecting all the walls that are currently visible in his 3D window, and now he is reserving these walls with the help of the Reserve button on the Teamwork palette. Notice that Holger receives an automated message from the BIM server about his reservation attempt. Not all the elements are free for reservation. Some of the elements are already reserved by someone else in the team. He can request these elements with a single click without knowing whom these elements actually belong to. The element request will be automatically and instantly sent out to all the other members of the team. There is no need for any further action from their side. In a few seconds, Holger starts to receive messages from the BIM server about granting elements. The first message is from Jose Juan, who just granted him the element he requested. The second message is from Tibor, who also granted him the requested element. The third message is from Simon, who also granted him the requested element. As you can see, Holger could reserve all the elements he needed in seconds. He did not have to find out who the elements belonged to. The Graphisoft BIM server automatically takes care of all such reservation issues. Now, Holger receives another message from the BIM server. This is an element request from Jose Juan. Notice that Holger can use the Show button to instantly view the element that Jose Juan requested. For now, he will click on the Grant button to instantly grant the element to Jose Juan. Let's switch back to Tibor. As you can see, the colors of the elements are changing, as they are reserved by various team members. If we hover the mouse over the colored reserved elements, we can immediately see who made the reservation. Meanwhile, Tibor also received a message from Holger. Let's open the message. As you can see, this is an element request. Holger would like to continue his work on some elements that are currently reserved by Tibor. Tibor will now grant the requested elements to Holger with one click. We have seen how quick and easy it is to reserve, as well as request and grant, elements in a teamwork project. Let's continue and see how architects can work simultaneously in ARCHICAD's teamwork environment. On Tibor's screen, we can see the entire design project in 3D. Tibor is the chief architect of the project, and his task is to work on the external facade of the project. The other team members will continue the work on different internal parts of the building. They will work on furniture layouts and create internal partition walls. As you can see, there are no partition walls and no furniture on the third floor of the project at this moment. Tibor switches back to 3D view, and as the chief architect, he sends a high-priority instant message to all the other team members to start their work immediately. He also starts his work on the external walls. First, he must reserve the external walls. He uses a predefined selection set that helps him select all the external walls. When he wants to reserve these elements, he gets a warning that there is a conflict in the reservation. Some of the elements belong to other users' workspaces. To solve this conflict, Tibor sends an automatic element request to the owners of all these elements, without even knowing who reserved them. The request message has been sent immediately, and you will see that very quickly, he will be able to continue his work as the others grant the requested elements to him. Let's switch to Holger's screen for a second to see that Holger, as well as all the others in the team, immediately received Tibor's high-priority message. Now he will begin to work on his task. He has to create some furniture layouts. Holger just received another message from the BIM server. This is a request for elements from Tibor. Notice that Holger can use the Show button to instantly view the element that Tibor requested. For now, he will enter only a short word, sure, in the text field. 
and then click on the Grant button to instantly grant the requested elements to Tibor. Let's switch back to Tibor. The element owners send Tibor a message, confirming that they have granted the requested elements. Now all the required elements are in Tibor's workspace, so he can continue his work on the external part of the building. He is now showing the building in its original color. By selecting a few external walls in the 3D view, he can change their exterior finish. Selecting additional external walls in the project modifies their color to red. Now Tibor, as the chief architect, would like to see how the other members of the team progressed with their design tasks. Tibor will once again use ARCHICAD's built-in instant messaging function. This time, he sends a special message that instructs the other users to send their changes to the BIM server. This is called a task message, as it contains a command button, which will perform the requested task on the user's computer when they press it. In this case, they can send their changes to the server by clicking on the Send Changes button. Let's switch to Holger's screen again. As you can see, he is progressing well with the furniture layout. Now he has received a high priority message from Tibor, who is asking him to send all his work to the BIM server. Holger will also send a short message to Tibor about his action. All he has to do is click the Send Changes button, and all his work on the furniture layout is sent to the BIM server, to the Central Project Database. Let's switch back to Tibor's screen. Greg informs Tibor in a message that he already sent the changes to the server. Also, a message from Holger and the others. Everyone has done their job. Well done. Let's switch to a 3D view to see how Tibor receives the team members' changes from the BIM server. This is a special view that shows the external walls in wireframe mode, while the internal parts, partition walls and the furniture layout, are represented in shaded mode. This setup will allow us to see the changes across the entire model. Tibor will turn on the Show Reservation by Users option in the Teamwork palette. So far, the furniture layouts in the internal partition walls are not visible, since Tibor hasn't received these modifications from the server. This is a great opportunity to demonstrate the speed of the BIM server. Tibor will click on the Send and Receive button to send his work, and also to receive all the work of the others from the BIM server. Although we are sending a large amount of data over the network, it will only take a few seconds to send Tibor's project updates and to receive all the work of the others from the BIM server. Please note that the team members were located around the world, US, UK, Germany, and Spain, yet to send and receive the changes took only a few seconds. The team members' work is visualized with different colors. As soon as Tibor moves the cursor over the colored elements, he can see who made them. Here are the internal partitions in orange done by Jose Juan in Spain. The furniture layout in yellow is done by Holger in Germany. These blue elements are done by Simon in the UK. Finally, in this corner, you can see some purple elements created by Greg in the US. Everyone has sent their part to the server, and now all this work is also visible on Tibor's screen. Though it was only a very short demonstration of ARCHICAD, it clearly demonstrated the power, speed, and ultimate flexibility of teamwork and the Graphisoft BIM server. Let's thank all the team members for their contributions. So, from what we have seen, some of the benefits are a five-minute learning curve, element access on the fly, work and collaborate via the Internet, regardless of geographic location, multiple location support with robust server infrastructure. And now, let's proceed with open collaboration.
At Graphisoft, we have always had the philosophy of being the best that we can be in architecture. So our intent has been and will be to collaborate with the best of the breed and other disciplines that come to play in the design, production, construction, and management of buildings. Graphisoft is a member of the Building Smart Association and has already proved its commitment to the open IFC-based BIM collaboration and has the highest IFC certification level. With the use of IFC as the basis for BIM collaboration, Designers and engineers can collaborate safely and efficiently with disciplines that use other software platforms. On this slide, you can see a collection of design, analytical, structural, mechanical, engineering applications that ARCHICAD users can connect to via IFC or other exchange file formats. So far, we can see how the BIM server can help us with flexibility, performance, and productivity. But what happens with the other players of the team? Those consultants who do not necessarily use a similar software platform. For this case, Graphisoft has once again created a groundbreaking workflow, taking advantage of the intelligence embodied in IFC. The integrated workflow covers the following activities. Preparation of the architectural model. Filtering only the necessary or required parts or elements of our project. Exporting part or the entire filtered model to others, depending on the requested workflow. And in the opposite direction, importing the data from other disciplines into our platform for model referencing and model coordination. Before starting the applications, Let's briefly overview the main steps of the building design workflow. So we'll start with the architectural model. Architects create the first model according to the brief and the given site. To prepare the model export, architects can filter the structural elements by using element classification, layers, layer combinations, display settings, selection modes, and so on. Of course, the entire building can be exported without any filtering as well. Architects export the filtered model in IFC file format. Although you can see the major players here, it is Graphisoft's policy to include the local players in any given market. Both architects and engineers can reference part of or the entire model for further work or analysis. Architects see the building from a different point of view compared with engineers. We can see here that a column for an architect is not the same as what the engineer understands. Once the engineers define the structural model and its details based on the referenced architectural model, they can also generate models for analysis applications. Engineers can query the initial profiles and materials defined by the architects. This is then sent back to the architect for coordination in an intelligent manner. And the result is evident. We can see what is new, deleted, or modified, allowing change tracking to take place. Now let's see how architects and engineers can harvest all the benefits of open design collaboration in their everyday practice. Welcome to the Open Collaboration Demonstration. Throughout this demonstration, Tibor will be in the architect's role working with Graphisoft Archicad in Budapest, Hungary, while the others will be in the role of engineers using their own structural and MEP applications. Let's switch to Archicad and see how to do model classification in the architectural building model. Here you can see the entire architectural model, including all the load-bearing as well as the non-load-bearing elements. Before filtering the elements, we must classify them and define which ones are the load-bearing ones. Every element in ARCHICAD has an editable internal parameter describing whether the element is load-bearing. Let's have a quick look at the parameters of a wall. Here we can decide if the selected wall is load-bearing or not. By default, all walls, slabs, and columns are set to be load-bearing elements in ARCHICAD. The load-bearing parameters of elements can be defined individually for each element. 